In this lesson, we're going to be adding an effect to our particles. In our previous lesson, we're able to disperse our particles like you can see here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add an effect to an effect. And so this effect is going to help us kind of create that illusion that as these particles are dispersing, that maybe they are also like on fire or, or they are like cinders. So if he were to truly uh, be hit with some sort of vaporizing ray, then maybe some of these particles would be glowing. So we're actually just going to use uh, uh, just a particle or a, a, an effect right out of the box. We're not going to use another particular or another <laughs> red giant or trap code effect. We're just going to use glow. And so with our layer selected, our particles layer, let's go ahead and double click on glow. And that will um, show up here in our effect controls. And so just right out of our default settings, we have some uh, pretty interesting glowing happening. Um, if you if you notice when we take a look at our settings that the the actual the uh, color is based on the original colors. Let's go ahead and change that to A and B colors. And then for A, let's choose something like cinders would be so like a, a bright yellow. And then for a color B, let's choose like a red. And then we can also adjust our threshold. So the threshold right now is set to 60. We can bring that up a little bit. And then our also our, uh, our glow radius. Maybe we need to bring that down just a hair. Let's go ahead and kind of advance here and just kind of take a look at what we're getting. And so we also need to adjust our glow intensity. So the intensity right now, if it's set to like nothing, we're not going to get much. But as we start to increase this value, and if you actually hold shift and you drag it across, then you're actually able to see a lot more here. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll even adjust our radius down a little bit more. And then our glow radius. So there's kind of a happy little median in here. So maybe like for our glow radius, we'll put that at three. Maybe we'll bring our intensity down just a little bit. Doesn't have to be so high, but our threshold, our threshold's really gonna work for us. Probably right around this 50% mark. Let's see here. Because if I bring it up to 100%, it's almost like it goes away and I bring it down to zero, man, that's just insane. So maybe somewhere around in here, around this 50 mark look, is looking pretty good. Then our intensity, if we bring that all the way down, that's what we get. If we bring it up, it's looking pretty nice. So what I would like to do is, man, that looks great. So as those particles are dispersing, they actually do kind of look like, uh, like some sort of embers or something. But I do, I think it would probably help us if we uh, went in and randomized their life just a little bit. But we can do that as soon as we're finished. So we have our our guy and I think maybe right when he is kind of exploding is when we should really bring on these effects so let's keyframe those three properties of glow threshold radius and intensity and then let's back up so page up a couple frames and so right now you can't see anything um, uh, sometimes that will happen all you need to do is purge, but we're going to go ahead and add our keyframes first. So for our threshold, I'm going to bring that to 100 and our radius down to 0. So 100, 0, and 0 is what we have for our settings. Now let's come up to our our edit menu and let's purge our, um, memory, our memory and disk cache. That's fine. It's going to purge a bunch for us. So anytime like you have frames that just aren't showing up, uh, go ahead and do this. Purge it out. That'll help you run a little bit faster. And it's going to take a little bit. There we go. So now if we go page forward, page forward, then now we have our awesome glow effect where our guy has turned into embers. But like I was saying, I want, I want to make sure that these particles don't all just go away all at once. So let's go take a look at our, our life and let's randomize our life a little bit. So we have our life random. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's see if we, there we go. So now we have a few particles, then we all 
just kind of spit out. Maybe I'll increase that. That looks nicer. It's a little bit more subtle as they just kind of all just kind of fade out. I think that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and get a RAM preview of this. And so I'm going to pause the recording and we'll take a look at a RAM preview here. All right, now let's take a look at that RAM preview. I think that looks really, really good. All right, so now we have our our guy that has just completely vanished. He's been vaporized, uh, but you can see his shadow just kind of hanging out. Let's go ahead and fix that. We can close up his particle layer. And then we have our shadow. And so right in here, we'll go ahead and we'll hit T on our keyboard. Then I'll pull up our opacity. It's create a keyframe, and we're going to page down a few frames and by here really um, there is some shadows that would probably be but we'll go ahead and uh, bring the opacity down to zero so now what we should have is our shadow just goes away much more believable at least than a shadow that's hanging out on that pole great all right so now that we have uh, created this awesome bursting of embry particles. And in our next lesson, we're going to create some smoke for our scene.